they came like running towards the front, stole this girl's laptop, and ran out. And then she started screaming. Hey guys, my birthday, and it was pretty much my Christmas present too. So I'm about to cut this thing. Oh my god! Do you see it? It has like a mohawk. This is the mohawk. I like you have an audience in there right now. Oh god. I've talked to them before. Good morning, guys. So we are making smoothies right now. Mine, it actually looks really nasty. It's purple, ish brown. Ish brown. They put blueberries in there, that's why it's like color, and spinach. So, mine has spinach, banana, blueberries, almond milk, and vanilla Greek yogurt. Luis has mango, avocado, ice cream. So, Luis is making a milkshake in my Nutribullet and it like exploded. It's stupid. And then <laughs> he starts like yelling at it, saying that it's stupid. And Goodbye. he puts so much stuff in there. And I don't think that that machine is meant for milkshakes, you know? So then he was having a fit and now we have to bring it back and get a new one. And he's not allowed to use it because he broke it. I'm also hoping to get a backdrop for the den um, where I film my videos because the wall's like beige. It's like a cream color and I just feel like it's plain and boring. So I'm trying to figure out how to make a backdrop. So if any of you know how to make a backdrop, whether it's just hanging fabric, which I think is what most people do. They just kind of put um, fabric on the wall. Um, because there's nothing in that room, so I can't even decorate it. I think I might go to the craft store, buy like a big piece of fabric, and just kind of pin it to the wall. Would that be weird? I don't think that would be weird. I actually think that's a good idea. So, um, tomorrow I think I'm going to go to the craft store and do that. Okay, so we went to go meet with the DJ. Um, I kind of, I liked him. He was... He wasn't like too old and he seemed like he knew what he was doing. He has a small business, but he's the owner. So he works pretty much by himself, but I liked him. I'll talk more about that in my Wedding Wednesday video this week. But when we were there, we got there, let's see, our appointment was at four and we got there really early at like 3.40. And so we're sitting there waiting for this DJ to show up. And these two guys walk into Starbucks. We were at a Starbucks. So these two guys, you know, they walk in and I, we both saw them walk in. And they didn't even go to like the Starbucks line. They just kind of like went towards the back of the place. And then they came like running towards the front, stole this girl's laptop and ran out. And then she started screaming and everyone, like no one really reacted to it. Just the people who were sitting like kind of around her. Um, and so she started screaming saying that this guy stole her laptop and we were sitting right next to her It was kind of scary. She was like at the table right next to us on her on her laptop But her back was facing the way that the guys were running so she couldn't see them coming but like They just ran took the laptop out of her hand because she was on the laptop she was like typing on it and they just grabbed it like kind of forcefully and left. Like they ran out of the Starbucks. And then I guess there was another car. Someone drove them there who was waiting for them in the parking lot because they ran super fast around the building and then they were gone. I didn't see the car. Like we went out there. Yeah, but him and my dad ran the out there to see what was going I on along with a bunch of other people. Cars that they got no. no. I, I just saw them the, run. I saw a car that sped off on the highway. Uh -huh. But like that was a different car. It was a, it was an Altima, like mine, mm -hmm. but black. And then I told the cop that, and then the cop said that somebody else saw them get into like a Toyota, oh. like a, yeah, like in the Toyota or, not, or a Honda. Yeah. So it was a little bit crazy. I have never been in a situation like that before, and like, I don't know. It makes me like not want to go anywhere. Kind of just want.
want to stay home and not be around anybody because then that way no one can hurt me and no one can steal my stuff. <laughs> but at least they didn't have a weapon because then I would have been scarred for life. No, seriously, if someone came in with a weapon, a knife, a gun, anything like that and threatened anybody around me, I would probably start crying even though it's not even happening to me. I would freak out and That's I'd why I would oh carry a weapon with me. He has a pocket knife. But like it's pretty big to be a pocket knife. It is. But I never like to go anywhere by myself. Like I always like to go with Luis because just in case something like that happens or I don't know, I just I never I know. Or you'll do something hopefully. But I never go anywhere alone. I always go with somebody. And if I have to go alone, I hate it. I don't even like to go to like my doctor's appointments by myself. Like I always like to have someone else with me just in case. But it was scary. And the girl, she was like crying, freaking out. And then the cops got there. Um, but two people saw the license plate. They had the same license plate. So um, I think that they'll get caught. Louise says no. I think that it would be easy to catch them. Oh, and there's a lot of people, so... So, like, people are not paying that much attention to them. Because, like, I, I saw know. them, and I saw them, and, and I, I, thought it was, I thought it was weird, because, like, this guy came with the freaking, like, neck tattoos and stuff. And then it was just two guys. Like, they weren't even, like, looking at the menu. And then I thought someone thought it was weird, but, I, like, they, they walked behind me, and then I didn't see them anymore until the guy was running out. Yeah, like... We were sitting right next to them, and so when they ran out, they ran behind my chair. But Luis's back was toward them. I saw them coming, but I thought they were like friends with the girls. Because like, you do that to me all the time. You come from behind me and like do stupid things. So I thought they were friends. And she even said the girl who they stole their, her laptop, she said that she thought it was a friend. But when she realized that it wasn't, she was freaking out. I don't know what I would have done. And she wasn't even alone. She had two friends there with her. Now we are headed to exchange my Nutribullet because Louis broke it this morning. Whatever. It wasn't working right, so we're gonna go exchange it. Then we're gonna get some food because Louis didn't eat all day. He just drank that milkshake. Uh, we're gonna eat and then we're gonna go to his aunt's house to pick up some earrings. And then we're gonna go home. I have to finish up the laundry. And that's it. So we are home. I changed my outfit, which you know what? I'm gonna show you my outfit because <laughs> this is how I dress. Hey, how do you like my outfit? You don't match. Yes, I do. No, you don't. But I'm, these are my pajamas. I'll show you guys. Okay, so this is what I wear when I'm home and I've got nothing else to do. I'm wearing Luis's green shirt, my floral-ish pink pajama leggings, and some bubble bee socks. How you guys like that? Looks good, right? I know. Okay, well, I am going to pack our lunches and stuff for tomorrow. And then I'm finishing up the laundry, and then Luis is going to play video games, the huge. And I'm gonna have to wash all this stuff for the Nutribullet again, because we exchanged it. So, I'm gonna take everything out. Oh, I can't even lift it. Um, and wash everything, and then, yeah. But I'm gonna end the vlog. We had an eventful, busy day today. And now I'm ready to rest. Are you ready to rest? Whoa. I filmed the TMI tag and that will be up right now. It'll probably be linked to this video, so check it out after this video. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. We will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.